I wanted to show you how to make some DIY mothballs because this is something that I did last year and I didn't do the video so I wanted to do it now because I'm actually redoing um, my mothballs and stocking it up for the cupboards. So for any of you that suffer from moths eating your clothes or silverfish and those kind of insects that get into the wardrobe, it's not really something that's very nice. But I know for a lot of people that use essential oils and are becoming less accustomed to all these synthetic fragrances you might buy the moth balls or the hangers for the cupboard from bunnings or the supermarket and the smell is so toxic and for me personally i can't stand it i can't have them in my cupboard in the bedrooms because i find the smell so repulsive because they are made from such toxic and synthetic ingredients so for me personally i wanted to take a more natural route and i knew well there's always a solution with essential oils, so there had to be something that I could do. So I did my research, and what I have come up with is such an easy idea. So I'm going to show you um, just very quickly how you can do this at home um, with three simple oils and fractionated coconut oil. So what I did was I went to Big W, but I think you can get some from Target or Kmart. You just get cedar balls. So I've literally got an entire bowl of them here okay you can buy packs of 10 20 however many you need um, we've got three cupboards here so I actually got two packs of 20 because that will pretty much do that that area uh, but just have a read on the back when you get the cedar balls it'll tell you you know how many you put in each cupboard but I might put say 10 in each cupboard or um, maybe slightly more I had a few in the linen cupboard as well so what you need to do is once you get the cedar balls home just put them into a big bowl like this and then you're going to simply for every 20 cedar balls that you have you'll need 15 drops of essential oils so i've got 40 cedar balls in here so obviously that's 30 drops of essential oils now if you didn't already know cedar wood naturally repels moths and silverfish so how incredible is that that something that is just exactly as it is in its natural form repels them so incredible right now if you want to really amplify that and take that next step up you add the oil as well so the three oils that i have done my research on that do repel moths and silverfish and other insects that get into the wardrobe and eat your clothes are cedarwood clove and lavender so i've got the three of them there sorry i hope you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put 10 drops of cedar wood, 10 drops clove and 10 drops lavender and then top the rest up with a fractionated coconut oil. And then all you do is you just get a spoon and you mix the um, oil around so that the bowls are completely soaked in the oil. And then you can either leave it for several hours or if you do have time and some space, just leave the bowl in the laundry or the kitchen or where, wherever and just let it soak overnight. Now the next morning when you wake up, you'll come back and the balls will literally look like this. So they'll just, the oil will have soaked completely into them. It's quite amazing and they'll be ready to go. So what I do is just get little um, clear like glass dishes or Pyrex dishes, whatever you want. And I just put a handful in them and then pop them into the cupboard. They not only will repel insects, but they smell amazing as well. So you just need to do this yearly. So you'll notice that the oil starts to really dry up. So maybe every six months or a year, if you want to leave it that long, you just need to redo the process, which is what I am going to do today. So I hope that has been really helpful. Um, I know how annoying it is when you have expensive clothing and a silverfish eats through and causes a hole because it has happened to me and it's devastating. So so um, I hope that that really helps you out and if you have any questions let me know. Thanks!